Hello, I am Thomas Schaufert and I am very happy to have next to me Mia Diamond. I'm oh, very Thomas. happy to have you here and uh, that we can talk a little bit about your exciting life. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. How did it start, Mia, your life? Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you also so that I can sit here next to you. I would like to tell you that Thomas is the one who, who is helping me at the moment so much. And I am very thankful because uh, with his help, I am sure I can bring my life again in the right way. Because there is some point in everyone's life, I think so, where you have the luck to meet someone to be next to you. And it's a big thing because alone is not always so easy. <laughs> so. We are never alone, <laughs> but we feel alone. Yes, that's right. Yes. Okay, so how did it start? <laughs> uh, well, um, I, I grew up with uh, my two uh, other, uh, one sister and one brother. And uh, our mother was uh, the only one who took care uh, of us. So it was a little hard. I mean, it was very, very hard. In Hungary, In Hungary it was yes. on the countryside at a nice lake. Yes, by the Lake Balaton, a very beautiful place, very nice place. But uh, it was it was not easy because we only had her to to go us to go up and uh, your father what did he um, do my parents uh, divorced when I was very small um, I think it's better like this even if it should be not like that mm -hmm. so I think it was a good uh, <clears throat> choice from my mother but uh, anyway. In Hungary, it's not not easy to to be a mother with three children alone, and um, somehow it was just too much hard, too much difficult. And I decided that if I reach the age eighteen, then uh, right after I finish school, I will go to do something to go to work because uh, we had already really big problems, and uh, we needed to do to do something. Mm. Uh, Hungary is still a very poor country and a few decades ago it was even worse. Yeah. Okay, and then you took, you <laughs> had a lot of energy and you took a decision. Yes, a few years later, one, from one day to another, I, I decided to go to Budapest, to our capital, because uh, really I was sure, and I think it's, it's, it's true also today, but especially that time. You go there, you don't know anything, but that one thing is for sure. You go there, you find work, and you can live. And you can do anything. If you have the power, if you want, if you can, then you will do that. And then with my boyfriend, we traveled there. And then, yes. We didn't know what to do. <laughs> you did <laughs> not have money? No. <laughs> you did go to a very big city. <laughs> Without money, well, yes. then you, have, you found an apartment and... Yes, exactly. And you did not know how to pay the rent? Yes, exactly. Ooh. We had just a small money and we go, we were traveling to Budapest to look at one flat. Mm. And <laughs> we already took all the stuff what we had from my city because I decided I don't care. This is our flat. We go today, we look at and we stay mm. in. And it was like this. So mm -hmm. I'm sure if you want something very much, for real, then you can you can do that. Crazy, but must. Okay, and and then what what was your next step? Mm. We started to work in the porn industry. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't know from the advertisement that it's about this. But when I think back, of we should have known. At, at first, you <laughs> thought first it's a it was, modeling agency. Yes, of course. And with photo shootings, they always uh, do the same shopping. trick. Yes, the same trick, and you eat the same trick. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they offered you good money. Yes. So you started to do your first porn movie. Yes. And then. And then I stayed in the business seven years long. I didn't plan so long, but uh, 
I was very happy because uh, in the first year already I got my first award, which was a very big thing for me. Because I got it like I didn't pay for it. I didn't put my position in the right place. And I was very proud because I got it from the people who watched me. And this made me worth for my job, that I am worth for what I'm doing. You say, you say normally the people that get the award, they pay for it. Yes, or they don't say it like this, but yes, mm. it's a long time already like mm. this. It's almost everywhere, I think. This, these things are not so clean. Mm. <laughs> a little bit corrupt. Yes. And, and uh, this award was like the, the golden award for the normal film industry in Cannes. It, it is also in Cannes, eh? This yes, is, also. Or most of them yes. were in Cannes, eh? Yes, and in Spain also. Um, there are many, many countries where uh, you can get awards. Right now, I don't know how it is, but uh, there are some big ones. And you got the big ones? Others, yes. How, how many big ones did you get in the seven years? So, I don't know how many big ones. Well, for me, all of them is big one because mm -hmm. of from my country also, because I'm living there and uh, from my people. But uh, the biggest one is from Barcelona, the FITSAB Barcelona Award. And uh, this is also every year, one time. And then there mm. to win that, it was it was a big pleasure. Mm -hmm. and, um, and was it um, actually, was it bad for you or good for you, for your life? What was your feeling? Uh, it was good. Mm. It was good. Um, I can see it now also from outside, of mm. course, and uh, I understand the people who who are thinking different about this thing. They are right also. Uh, for me, it was somehow different, and I think it's because this job was, uh, it sounds uh, strange, I know, but this job was the thing in these years, which gave me the feeling of happiness, the feeling that people love me, and I give something to the people that they also get some love or true feelings from my side through this mm -hmm. movie thing, which sounds strange, I know, but uh, I know that it is like this and it, it was like this. Mm -hmm. So this is a positive memory for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you did also really feel you are very creative. You did also feel like an artist, really, right? Yeah. And this is also very important to do this. You can, you have to have a certain quality, otherwise you cannot get awards. Yes, that's right. Mm. That's right. And was there anything negative, like drugs or or aggression or liars around you or people that try to put you down, jealousy? Yes, it's always there. It's always there, and especially if. Uh, if you work a lot, if your name is known, then of course there are more and more people who want to cut your way. Mm. <laughs> but I think with the time, everybody can handle this. If you have the intelligence to to handle all this, or to to give people love and get love, then you also can learn how to handle these kind of people mm. and live with it. Mm. And, and now you are, you were very successful in this area and for you it was good and now you are in a big change. A few years ago you, an angel came to you <laughs> and uh, yes, what happened then? Yes, my angel arrived. <laughs> yes, I'm a, I'm a mother and uh, this is the most beautiful thing that could happen to me in my life. And my son bring me back to life, let's say like this. Everybody can understand it how he wants. He is the one who bring me back to stay here, to be here today. And uh, yes, I am very happy that through him I, I could experience the true love. Mm. The simply true and clean love which we can talk about and we can understand 
but as long as you don't get this feeling or experience this feeling minimum just for one second, you don't know what it's all about. It can save lives, it can bring you back to life and uh, stay alive. It's very important and I am sure that we can we can help to other people with this mm-hmm. because all the people who knows what it feels to get love, give love. From your experience, what what is do you think people live too much sex and don't want to to try to understand that they stay in this sex area, sex and drugs maybe, and they somehow cannot uh, connect to real love? Do you feel it's like this, or there is a lot still to do? And what can you give to the people from your experience? What do you want to present them? What do you want to give them? I'm sure that this is like this. It's hard to explain how it works or why it is like this, but uh, I know that it's like this. So all the addicted people, it can be about drugs or sexual things or anything. It's simply about the the missing of love, the true love the true feelings, to know what it means, how it feels. We just all don't know about this at all, what it means. And that's why we can finish like this, to to be addicted in, in any kind of things. I am sure that we can make the people feel this. You only have to stay open for it and to be open and to receive the feeling. It's very easy, sounds complicated, but it's very easy (laughs) and beautiful. (laughs) And you don't need children to experience this. Yes. And Mia, because of her life, she knows now exactly how, what it takes to give you this impulse that, that you can feel this unconditional love. Right? Yes, that's right. And I think this is amazing that you are willing to and you really want to to give this to the people on, on in the world. Yes, it would be my pleasure, really. And uh, why I would do this? Because all these people who are, let's say, many of them addicted, for example, to porn, these people gave me years long, the happiness that I am worth. And I would like to give it back to you to show you what it really feels like because all of you is worth for living and worth for happiness. Okay, this is a very nice sentence to finish our talk. (laughs) Thank you very much, Mia, and thank you very much uh, for watching. And uh, there will be more. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Bye-bye.